I'm Donna, and this is my backpacking trip to Isle Royale National Park in Michigan. I spent two weeks on the island doing a solo hike from one end to the other and back again. Welcome to the very first episode of my Isle Royale adventure. This episode is the training and planning it took to make this trip happen. This was my second trip to Isle Royale. The first was with five other women in 2015. We had a great time and I've wanted to go back for a while. I decided to go to Isle Royale after having had a really big adventure in 2018. I spent three weeks trekking the jungles of Papua New Guinea. While it was the hardest thing I've ever done, it was an amazing adventure. post-adventure funk, I was left to wonder what next, and so I decided to return to Isle Royale. I ended up doing a two-week solo hike, an end-to-end -end loop of the island, one way on the Monong Trail returning on the Greenstone. I had planned a challenging route and knew I would have to train hard to be able to do it. Fortunately, I live close to Hoffmaster State Park and North Ottawa Dunes County Park, and they have miles of beautiful trails. So I loaded up my pack and spent the spring and summer training on those trails. Out on a training hike today, Hoffmaster State Park. Pack weight is at 42 pounds, which it's early in the season for 42 pounds. I have not trained up to carry 42 pounds, so I thought I'd do a shorter hike today. Weather's beautiful. It's a nice day for a hike. Been making pretty good time despite the heavy pack weight until my trail just disappeared into water. So somewhere on the other side of that is the trail. So I stopped to put my gaiters on try and find a way through it. Take a shallow spot. Hope it's not too mucky. Probably gonna just have to go for it and get wet. A couple of logs here maybe. These down branches I could step on. Oh, feet are wet. <laughs> dry land. Got a bench to sit on, rest my pack, that will help when I have to pick that beast back up. And this is my view. It's Lake Michigan, pretty calm at the moment. When I'm done here I'll walk down that trail through the sand and walk along the beach for about a mile. And then I've got another mile to get back to my car. I've gone 2.7 miles so far, so it'll be close to 5 by the time I'm done. Just a short hike for today. So I've got about two months before I leave for Isle Royale, so I'm out training today. Hoping to get in, well I was planning on about 10 miles, it looks like it would probably be in the 11 to 12 range, which is even better. A uh, pack is currently 38 pounds. I've stopped for lunch, so I'm sitting here. I've got new boots. This is the first hike with the new boots. I'm currently not on my feet. I've got a blister already. Um, they're the same kind as my last ones. They're a newer model though. They've got, it's hard to see. The bottoms are a little bit more solid in that they should help me not slip and fall quite so much. It's a nice day. The weather's about 70. It was raining, so there aren't many people on the trails right now. The rain scared them away, I think. But now the sun's come out. It's absolutely beautiful. Everything is green. It's springtime, mid-May, here in Michigan. This is North Ottawa Dunes Park. Uh, 
these trails connect to Hoffmaster State Park, so I came in at Hoffmaster and have hiked out here. So I can get a lot of miles in without having to duplicate my steps too much. Another training hike at Hoffmaster. Planning to do a long hike today. It'll go through three parks. This is Hoffmaster State Park. Then I'll go through North Ottawa Dunes County Park. Then after that, there's another park called Ottawa Sands, which is a new park. I haven't been to it yet. But they'll connect, so it's easy to get a lot of miles in. Backpacking trips were part of my training too. It's a great way to test out your gear while getting in shape. This is a weekend I spent on the Manistee River Trail, a 20 mile loop hike in Michigan, a couple of hours north of where I live. I just pulled into the parking lot, about to start a training hike on the Manistee River Trail, and the weather is beautiful. I could just stay in the car, right? going to get me any training in, so I guess I'll put on the rain gear and get going. Well, I'm a few miles in. It's still raining. But for the moment, I'm down here in the trees. There's not a lot of rain coming through. Hoping to find a campsite soon. This side of the trail, I'm supposed to stay in a designated site. And there's a fair amount of people here, considering the weather is not great. But it is a popular trail. So, next empty site, I'm just going to stop. So this is the view from my campsite. Not bad, right? made it to my campsite for the second night. It's absolutely beautiful. The sun is shining now. It doesn't even look like the same day. I am so excited to be here. Let's see how far I went. 13.3 miles today. Not bad. That is enough for one day. We did a lot of training hikes to get ready, building up to being able to carry a heavy pack and trying out my gear to figure out what I wanted to bring and the best ways to pack it. The other thing I had to prep in advance was food. 
I started dehydrating a couple of months in advance, trying out new recipes to figure out what I was going to eat for those two weeks on the island. The route was planned out using Isle Royal National Geographic map and the Isle Royal Foot Trails and Water Routes book by Jim Dufresne. The map would come with me to the island, but the book was too heavy to put in my pack. Speaking of heavy, my pack weight ended up at 44 pounds. So that included a week's worth of food and two liters of water. It was heavier than I'd hoped for, but still I knew it was within what I was able to carry. I did have five pounds of electronics because I brought my GoPro camera plus spare batteries, a still camera with batteries, plus my phone, plus power packs for those, plus a solar panel to uh, charge everything while I was out. So I, I knew I wanted to bring those electronics with me. It wasn't really a choice to leave them behind. So I sucked it up and that's what my pack weight was starting out. I had also set up to have food delivered to me at the halfway point of the trip. So I was only carrying a week's worth of food at a time. And it's possible to mail food to yourself at Windigo. It comes over on a ship. So I did that. I got the, uh, the second box of food all packed up and ready to go so that I only had to carry a week's worth at a time. So that meant every day for that first week, my pack was going to keep getting lighter. And then on the return trip, I would start out heavy again and have it go down again from there. While my pack may have been heavier than I liked, at least it was a little more streamlined than on my first trip to Isle Royal. That is it for episode one. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe so you can get notified when the next episode comes out because in episode two, I will be getting to Houghton. I will be taking the ranger over to the island, starting my first hike, and having my first encounter with a moose. So be sure to like and subscribe to watch the next episode.